Are we ready for Hillary now, 2016? <laughs> Uh, you're ready. I always say that being a president is a low probability profession, but she has the highest probability of, of any person right now. But there's so much to happen, and, and I think this is going to be a great debate for the country. And a lot has shifted sort of in the country from 2008 to 2016. What does she need to do differently uh, to make the outcome the one that... Uh... Well, I, I'm going to let, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna let her, her say what she's going to do. I, I think that, remember, I think she's... You know, the primary situation is quite different here, and we're likely to move, you know, more closely to a general if she, remember, she hasn't even technically decided whether she's in. I think it's more important, what does the country have to discuss a debate? You know, there's a lot of stuff going on internationally, uh, the question of the economy and income uh, in inequality and how we deal with it, the question of technology and privacy. You know, the question of even cyber warfare now makes it into the State of the Union, right? So I, I think that this is going to be perhaps the most, you know, online, most engaging uh, debate. I think this is not going to be a campaign just of negative, negative ads, although I'm not against <laughs> negative ads per se. But I think that there will be a big discussion of these issues. Tax reform will be a big issue. You know, how do you make Social Security? and put, uh, uh, you know, secure for the next couple of decades is going to be a big issue. What do you do about energy sufficiency and, and modern energy? All of these issues are going to play themselves out, I, I think, in a way that the public is going to be, I, I think, captivated by the debate that emerges. I think, I think whoever wins, it's going to be a great election.